Hi, this is another uh, unique kind of a Heath kit component that I have. I uh, wanted to put a video together to show this to you. Um, I've seen a couple of these things online over the years, and in both instances, I kind of felt like somebody had replaced the knobs. But after doing some research uh, online, and I'll show you some pictures later, these are the knobs that came with this unit. You can see that this is a little bit different than the Heath kit AJ15. Um, but the rest of the functionality is, is pretty much the same. The other thing that you'll notice cosmetically that's a little bit different, I think that a few of these uh, rocker switches are different colors. And then lastly, uh, when you fire this thing up, I think the dial on the AJ1510 is a yellow color. This one retains the green color that you'll see on the AR-15. The AR so just to recap here, I bought this in an unworking condition. I was able to recap it. Um, had to get some of the meters working. I think that those were not functioning. There were some lighting issues. I got those resolved. Did a full cleanup on it. Recapped it. Refinished the cabinet. Did an alignment on it. And it's uh, working pretty good. So just walking through the functions, very similar again to the AJ15. Here's the selector between mono, auto, and stereo. FM stereo indicator light. You've got squelch phase that pulls out to adjust, uh, has a balance control, and what I also like about these is it has level control, th uh, stereo threshold min and max, and then a noise filter on and off, and then the power switch as well. Uh, there's a signal strength meter as well as a center tune meter, and both of those things I had to align when I got this thing. Uh, after I got it aligned, I had to do some work to get those things working as well. So picks up the stations very strong. Korean film. I'm in the set. So I'll throw in a few pictures that should show you the back side of it as well. And one of the things that I think is unique and pretty nice about these is that they do have a volume control and a variable output on the back of these so that you can uh, control a little bit of the volume uh, on the unit itself without using the amplifier. So take a look at the uh, pictures. Hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'm also going to show a picture of the inside kind of the work that I did recapping it and I uh, had to restring the dial as well. Thanks. Here's a look at the inside of the unit. Uh, as you can see, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit here. As you can see, I replaced all the electrolytics. Uh, also had to restring uh, and replace the dial string. This unit had kind of been just gutted by somebody uh, for the parts, I believe. Uh, but I was able to uh, fabricate or and or replace the missing components and I did get it running. So uh, I'll also include a picture showing you all uh, the parts that I had to fabricate. Here's a look at the two pieces that I had to fabricate uh, and that were missing from this unit. The upper one is the indicator dial uh, slide. That was missing and removed from the unit. The piece below is the um, backup plate for holding both of the meters in place. That had been removed and was missing as well, so I was able to fabricate both of those out of brass and uh, get this thing outfitted and put back together. Here's an ad out of the Popular Mechanics magazine that shows the FM tuner. It also shows, as you can see here, here's the tuner. It also shows the four channel amplifier that was part of this home learning uh, class that you could take through Bell and Howell. And it looks like in both cases Heathkit uh, provided the internals, the design, and, and I'm guessing all of the components uh, for these both of these units. Hi, just one other thing I wanted to point out to you. I've gone through a restoration on a number of these uh, style units and one of the things that I think is just absolutely critical 
in making these things look good is to walk through the back plate uh, that has all of the graphics on it and from the back side come in from behind and touch up all of the black scratches that would uh, otherwise let a lot of light through. So I think it makes uh, for a good presentation once you've gone through that exercise and you can see that the dial then shows just nothing but black and comes across just very nice. So I wanted to point that out to you. That's something when you've got these things apart that you always want to take a look at because I think it just makes a huge difference uh, in terms of the clarity as well as, you know, just uh, the overall appearance. Okay, thanks.